Welcome back everyone to the Hello World guys, it's episode number, uh, if I'm not wrong, 5 of the bonus uh, series of the Unreal Engine Dinner series and in this video we are going to do a couple of more stuff but uh, uh, I kind of have to apologize for not uploading for 2 days because uh, I kind of, uh, uh, you know, I had a little bit of problem with my mic again so yeah, now I'm back and in this video what we are actually going to do is I want to implement a couple of smaller, uh, you know, kind of power ups actually for our player. So the way we are going to do that is that first of all I would like our player to have double jumping because currently our player can jump but he cannot jump like more than once which does not look uh, really awesome uh, and I think I want to implement that. So I'm going to go under my player and then I'm going to go under class defaults and you can see here we have got jump max count just change that to 2 and that, that's literally all you need to do. Now you can double jump as you can see. I just double jump and uh, I can double jump like uh, okay. Uh, and you can double jump also to get away from the enemies if they are kind of like getting too close uh, which is kind of really nice because this double jumping ability is uh, uh, is really cool uh, you know a lot of games have it and I think our game should have it too so yeah now we have got our double jumping ability done and for some reason uh, this enemy is uh, okay I'm out of ammo alright so now what I want to do is I want to implement a dashing ability it's not really dashing I want to implement a sprinting ability that allows our player to sprint uh, when it wants to and uh, also I want to do a couple of more abilities which we will do over the videos uh, this uh, this big bonus series I intend it to be 10 episodes long so we have got on the fifth now so uh, yeah let's let's first of all uh, try to implement a uh, you know uh, sprinting ability so in order to do that I'm going to go under my project settings and open up my input then I'm going to change this I'm going to go under uh, here you can see we have got a bunch of stuff but I'm going to go ahead and add an axis mapping here called uh, sprint action mapping and this is going to be tied to the shift key you can just click and press shift and you can also add the right shift in here as well so basically the idea is that when we press uh, this sprint so I'm going to go in here I'm going to delete this thing that we had and I'm going to add sprint here so the idea is that when we press this print, uh, when we actually press it, so currently if I go under my character movement, you can see that my max walk speed is set to 750. So I'm going to go ahead and get my character movement and I'm going to go set max, set uh, max walk speed. Okay, and I'm going to set it, uh, to when it's pressed, I'm going to set it to a different value to compared to when it's released. So when it's uh, pr normally, normally our value is as I said before it's 750 so I'm just going to copy this and we are going to set it to 750 when this button is released and when it's pressed I'm going to set it to something like let's say 1300 so that we can notice that we are running really fast. So you can see yeah I'm here and uh, if I actually press the shift key then I can go extremely fast which I mean uh, it's a bit way too fast, <laughs> I, mean, uh, I don't intend it didn't intend it to be originally that fast but uh, you you can see that the basic idea is working uh, and you can obviously reduce this down to something like 1100 if you want to so yeah we have got these two things done now the next thing I want to implement is actually a special thing that will allow us to have an increased range uh, for our shooter uh, for our gun for a little bit of time so the idea that I have got here for this is that I am basically going to add you know a uh, another pickup and then we pick that pickup one and then uh, up then we will get a for a limited amount of time we will get a like a double range for our gun. So how are we going to do that? Well I'm going to go under uh, in here uh, you can see I've got my blueprints folder here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go under here and I'm going to open up my ammo pickup. So I'm going to open up my ammo pickup and in here you can see we have got a bunch of, uh, we have got this basically thing here. So uh, now we have got that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically copy this ammo pickup and I'm going to paste it. Now uh, uh, I'm going to rename this to be, uh, you know, a, a range pickup I guess because it increases the range and we are going to keep it as a uh, like this shape but I'm going to change this to be something like okay, we'll change it to be this one the material I'm going to change the material alright so I'm going to rename my ammo pickup spawner to just pickup spawner bit because now it's going to spawn all pickups and what we are going to do is we are going to uh, you know uh, like we are going to basically put this spawn event thing here uh, like like that I'm going to basically copy this whole function but uh, instead of we are, I'm going to say spawn uh, range pickup. After we have done that, what we need to do is we need to go under and I'm going to remove this whole time thing and I'm going to set the timer to be uh, after like let's say 
a, uh, 10 seconds or let's say if the timer is going to be appearing after 17 seconds <laughs> all right so the timer is going to be after 17 seconds and uh, uh, and in the beginning we are also going to go ahead and and uh, say spawn okay i'm going to uh, after doing this i'm going to delay for a further five seconds uh, seven seconds let's say eight seconds uh, so after a total of 10 seconds we are going to spawn the uh, other pickup which is going to be spawn range pickup so now that should basically cause uh, everything to work but uh, obviously our range pickup uh, is it not actually spawning we need to go ahead and change the class to range pickup range pickup and i'm going to uh, basically now go ahead and implement the actual range pickup now in here we need to obviously actually implement a function in the player that uh, imp you know kind of increases the range so i'm going to go under here in the player and i'm going to add in a e custom event here just add a custom event called increase okay actually not a custom event all right let's give it a couple custom event uh, and not custom event i'm going to add a function here called increase range now what this function essentially does is that it will mm, uh, basically go ahead and say uh, and so we have got uh, for when we are shooting so if i go under my shooting uh, thing here we have, where we have got it uh, the actual shooting so i'm going to open up my shoot function and here you can see we have got this uh, shoot thing and in here we have got this value as our range now i'm going to right click and pro to promote to variable which will automatically create a variable out of this and i'm going to rename the variable as range now what i'm going to do with this is that i'm going to go under uh, now this by default is going to be as you can see 400 and i'm going to go under my increase ra range function and for this i'm going to set my range to be 700 instead of 400 then i'm going to add in another function here which is called decrease range uh, and in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the range set range and uh, we are going to set the range back to 400 that it was before okay and uh, uh, this uh, is going to be called we are going to basically call a set timer by function name okay by function name and for the object uh, uh, okay this is th this you can leave this and for the function name just copy this exact name and paste it here and for the timer i'm going to just say something like uh, five seconds okay and then uh, we have got this working so it will basically make it so that we increase the range then after five seconds we set it back to what it was before and uh, mm, what we also do is we uh, do is we go under the event graph and in here we have got a tick event here uh, you can just go ahead and say tick and it will automatically take you to the one that exists all right we have got this event here so i'm going to uh, add a sequence event here and uh, this sequence event basically allows us to do multiple stuff in the tick event without having to worry about branch and stuff it will do everything in order i'm going to right click on the branch and then i'm going to say collapse nodes to um, collapse them to a subgraph and uh, what this one did actually let me see this one handled the shooting so i'm going to just basically name it shoot uh, okay shoot uh, shooting all right that's great now in that mm, this is the shooting graph and in the then one pin what i'm going to do is i'm going to check if uh, our uh, range is uh, greater than 400 so i'm going to check if our range is greater than let's say 400 so if our range is greater than 400 that means we have got the increased range thing on and now we need to basically do something let's actually go ahead and just say print string uh, range and i'm going to set its color to be like red i guess all right now let's go under here compile this and go ahead and hit play let's test this out so f after 10 seconds of uh, me starting the game we should get our uh, first range pickup spawning uh, let me go ahead and collect this one and yeah that is the range pickup now as soon as i pick it up you can see that i get uh, okay i did not pick it up okay it's actually not picking up at all that's that's kind of weird it should happen okay let me open up the range pickup and you can see we are not implementing it at all actually <laughs> so we need to s go ahead and say increase range and then we need to say destroy actor now let's test uh oh sorry <laughs> now let's test if that works all right so let me just go ahead and okay uh let me just go ahead and play the game and you can see that uh currently no pickup is spawning and whoa uh, now this uh fight now the I actually reason i actually added that pickup so that we can fight this monster thing easily because it's currently very hard to fight because it's kind of shoots at very fast rate and you kind of have to shoot it from far away and now you can see i've got my range uh, extra range but uh, i've got no ammo it seems 
Okay, uh, and now let me see if I can shoot it from far away. Uh, it actually, actually, it doesn't seem like it's increasing for some reason. Uh, let me go under my player, and uh, it is saying that my range is greater than 400. And let me go under increase range, and I am setting my range to 800, but I'm going to set it to 1000 actually. Uh, let me go under here, and let me see if that works. Uh, again, because it didn't seem like a lot, so let's test. Let's get some ammo, and thankfully the enemy is facing away right now. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Now let me see if that works. I'm going to stand here and shoot. Yeah, and that works. That works from quite far away. Okay, I've, I'm out of ammo, but uh, and there are a couple of glitches in the game, and I would also like to, you know, uh, make it so that we can uh, shoot the enemy. Uh, like uh, you know we actually have an uh, icon in the UI that tells us that we have got extra range so we'll implement those in the later videos so stay tuned for that make sure to share this series with other people who want to learn Unreal Engine and uh, well bye